This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I know it's been a while since I posted, guys. I've got a lot of other things going on. But I've been running tests in my spare time to verify this effect. This is part of a stator for a alternator. And what I've done is I've winded it so the back EMF is being redirected out here instead of like in a conventional coil like this and then the energy is turning this part into a magnet as this thing gets more energized it creates its own magnetic field which fights against the magnetic field of the passing magnet and that's the way a normal coil works I've got a couple of them here um, I've got an homage on all these but what I found is that you can generate power and direct that back EMF out toward the edges and away from the primary mover. So what I've done here is I, I'm trying to figure out the best wind for this configuration because if I get this right then I should be able to generate power without drag. Now obviously I'm using a monopole. Well a monopole is just that, it's a single pole. This has iron behind these magnets, so it's creating an artificial south between them. So there is a south there, it's just not a very strong south. So I'm not really going to get a lot of amperage. I'll get the voltage I want, but I'm not going to get a significant amount of amperage due to the fact that this is a monopole wheel. But that's not what I'm checking here. If I can generate the voltage on these coils, and I use a regular north-south configuration, I can generate the amperage I want. I'm pretty sure what I'm saying to you is correct here. I've experimented with monopoles and I've always found that I can get a voltage out of them, but I just can't get the amperage I want out of them, right? So, um, but this is really an experiment to show you about coils. So, I'm gonna get started here. I've marked the ohmage for each one of these coils. This coil, what I did is I wound it this way, and then instead of winding it back, I went across the top and started at the other end. So all the winds are one, run in one direction with a sharp right angle to the return. Okay? This is just a zigzag, it's a standard zigzag. This is a zigzag as well, but on a smaller piece to see if I can get the same voltage out of this that I get out of this, okay? This is a grouped one. These are wound continually until I fill it up, then I wind the next one and the next one. So these are not wound across this, they're wound as individual coils on each one of these groups. And then this is just a half of a round with a little heavier wire on it. Uh, I wanted to see how well that would work. And this is using a heavy heavy gauge number 12, I think. So, and this also uses a number 12. So, I'm going to start running the experiment here. And there we go. 2,900 RPM. Sorry, it's a little noisy. The bearings don't really fit the shaft, so it kind of jumps up and down a little bit. But for this purpose, it'll work. So. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to hook this to an 18 ohm coil with uh, uh, Lincoln welding rods as a core. Okay, so let's go and you can see the voltage back there. 12, roughly, uh, let's say, Oops. 15 volts. 15 to 18 volts. But it's only 13 ohms. That's 18 ohms. That has more wire on it. This has a smaller wire on it. So let's go see how that does. Oops. Well, if I can keep it off of there. About 10 volts, okay? And this is this is probably a number 30 wire. 
this is the, actually was a relay, so that I put plates in. Now, this is rated at seven ohms. Now, this has this is just a standard transformer, and the energy can pass through it, but it can also pass around it. So let's look at what it would do as a generator. So this is on this 0.7 ohms. Not very efficient. Of course, all the energy is being redirected, and it's a bigger wire because it's 0.7 ohms. Now this is the AC would be the AC side, and it's. 19 ohms. Still not very efficient. I like getting a couple volts out of it. Because it has an alternate path for the magnetic field to flow in. It doesn't have to force its way through the center core. It can travel around the outside and avoid the center. So not a good, not good for a generator. Now let's look at some of the more creative ones. So here, here, this is wound, like I said, this direction and then comes back. Let's see what this does. You can see here, this is making a lot more voltage. 2.2 volts for this. Now this one is basically wound in a zigzag pattern across it. A lot better. You can see here, 4.5, okay? Now it's going to drag down from the iron alone. It's not under load, so that's just the iron of this affecting that uh, monopole as it passes by. So it's going to drag it down. It, now, if I get shorted, it don't drag it down any more than it does that than when I'm doing the experiment. Here. Now, this is grouped, so these are just wound individually and then jump to the next one. About two ohms, more more or less. It's a little hard because I'm holding it and it's not a set distance, so let's just say about two ohms, two two point two ohms is the top there, right? And that's the wound individually. Now this is wound just like this coil was wound in a zigzag pattern, but I'm only using five of those sections to do it, so. So let's see how that works. Two point eight. So this right here is generating almost as much as this, but in half the size because I'm cutting it and then creating a smaller version of this. It doesn't drag as much, and it's creating just a little less, not half of this, a little more than half of this. So this is more efficient than this. This is more efficient than this. This coil here is less efficient than this one, and this one's still more efficient. So it's just wrapped. So it's not enclosed like this type of coil I'm generating here is. So let's see how it does. It's not very efficient at all. The wire's a little bigger. It's one ohm, but it's not working as well as these. The wire's a little bigger, so that is a factor, but not even close. Uh, to the performance of this coil right here.
So 0.2 ohms. And uh, not very efficient. Transformer, standard transformer. This is uh, 120 volts in on the 19 ohms, 120 volts in to 12 volts. So the winding is uh, about 10 to 1. So you've got 10 winds here, or 10 winds here for one wind on this. It's 120 volts, that gives you 12 volts. So what we're going to do here, we're going to hook this up to the larger winds, like that, and then we're going to hook up this little guy here on the 7 ohm side because right now we're dealing with alternating current it'll run this transformer so I'm going to take my most efficient coil and I'm going to hook it up again through this transformer so we got the most efficient coil going through that transformer now let's see what we got Oh, off the scale there. Alright, I'm going to 200 volt scale. About 17 ohms, or sorry, 17 volts. Now, if I get that just in the right spot, it'll jump above 20 volts. So. It's just a little hard to do when I'm holding it. So, I'm going to turn this off here. Okay, so what did that show us here? You can redirect the back EMF through this uh, type of stator or core for the coil by winding it in a zigzag pattern. And by running that through a transformer, standard 12 volt, 120 in, 12 volt out, flipped. So we're basically going in at, you know, 4 volts or so. And then that's running this transformer and generating, you know, 17 to 20 volts on the output. The wire's smaller, you're not going to get as much amperage. But as an experiment, um, it has a lot of potential here. On this right here, when I spin it with my hand on the large motor lab motor, I'm getting a half a volt by spinning by hand. The magnets are a lot stronger than this, and when I'm running it, I should get three or four volts out of this, and the, the energy is being directed away from the wheel. And you might say, well, why is what does that matter? That means under load, when this thing's spinning against that wheel, it's passing by this side, like this. So the energy's passing by, it's flipping over the other side, and every time the magnet passes, it's generating about a half a volt at a slow speed. I'm thinking I might be able to get some amperage out of this, even on a monopole because that's a lot of amperage for <laughs> this coil with this size wire. That's a fairly large wire. So um, I've got some more experiments to do with that. So for now, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out. <laughs>